guys, this is Janet with CBDApothecarySolutions.com. Um, I just wanted to come to you today and talk with you about um, questions that I'm seeing out there um, quite frequently. I'm not sure why, but um, a lot of people are wondering if edible marijuana will stress or damage the liver. Um, and I'm not sure if they're looking to find out if edibles that have CBD in them are dangerous or damaging to the liver or if they're looking to eat marijuana and they're wanting to know if that damages the liver. Um, so I'm not really sure what uh, the reason for the question, but I'm going to give you um, a lot of medical terms or medical advice, medical information here. Some of it will make some sense of it, some won't, but in the end um, I'll answer your question in fairly layman's terms. Um, everything that you take in and you absorb uh, goes into the small intestines and then it goes directly to the liver and goes through what's called the first pass metabolism. And what is the first pass metabolism? That's when a drug is metabolized before it reaches the body or circulation. Um, with first pass metabolism, it greatly reduces the amount of drug that reaches our body. Therefore, we need to consume more uh, in order to get the intended results. Now, let me explain what that means to you. Um, with medications that are taken um, orally, or rectally by suppository. They take longer to get into the system and they go through the first pass. So we require taking more sometimes of those drugs so that they will give us the intended uh, what we desire, which is pain relief or you know Tylenol, you know, headache relief. Um, Muscle, muscle spasms for muscle relaxers, just whatever, you know, I guess marijuana, if you ate it, a high, if you're taking it for the CBD, um, but CBD is not consumed like that, so we're going to talk about that in just a minute. Um, the first pass metabolism does only occur with medications that are taken orally and by suppository. Um, first pass metabolism um, is not not going to affect the way you take CBD. Drugs are metabolized through your liver um, and mostly some in the intestines. With medications that are taken intravenously or IV or intramuscularly with a injection into the muscles, the large muscles which are usually their thighs, your buttocks or your upper arms um, and sublingually which is under your tongue, those don't go through the first pass metabolism. They go straight to the body, pass straight through the liver, last meaning, or, or, or I'm sorry, they go straight to the liver last, meaning that it requires less to get the desired effect and less damage to the liver. So let me go back and see if I can make sense of this for you. Um, pills that are taken by mouth or rectally by suppository go through first pass. They're the only ones, which means they will go straight to the liver um, and bypass the body and the circulatory system, which means we'll need to take more of them in order to get the desired effect. Anything that is taken by IV, by an injection, or under your tongue will not go through first pass. They are last to get to the liver. Your body gets more. Your circulation gets more. They go through the circulatory system and your blood system. Um, and it takes less of it to get the desired effect. And it hits the liver last, meaning that less damage to the liver. So it's probably going to answer your question right there in that um, if you're eating marijuana, um, are your eating edibles, um, they probably are going to go through the first pass and it probably will require you to do more 
Um, if you do like uh, the sprays, this is a spray. It's a little spray container. If you spray, you just spray it right up under your tongue. If you spray it under your tongue or you use the drops that you drop under your tongue, um, those are probably going to be your best bet with CBD if that's what this is. You know, I don't know what this question, like I said in the beginning, is about. But if that's what it's about, you know, and if it's about marijuana, smoking marijuana, eating edibles like brownies or whatever, they are going to go through the first pass. And those are not going to give you the desired effect on a smaller amount. It's going to take larger. And they are going to go through the liver. And they are going to be a risk of damaging intestines or liver. That's, you know, that's, um, as, I, as I understand it. The first pass effect on the many chemicals that are in marijuana is significant. Um, this means that marijuana products undergo significant metabolism when you eat them. Um, there are some drugs that actually become stronger during the first pass. Um, and one of them happens to be THC which means that the liver metabolizes more of the THC. So as to your question about stress or damage, um, anything that's metabolized by the liver is in, in essence stressing the liver or uh, damaging the liver in some way. Um, anything that's, uh, it, it depends on what you're consuming and how you're consuming it. Um, if a product package says, uh, say, THC uh, jelly beans, 80% uh, THC, um, and then you know that that jelly bean has 80% THC in it. But what the question is, is what is the other 20% that isn't natural THC? It's just that there are some important questions that need to get answered um, before you start consuming products. You should always require a lab result um, document before um, you consume or use that product that you're purchasing, especially when you're talking about CBD, um, marijuana products, THC, non-THC, things like that. You should always. And if a company is on the up and up and um, operating as they should, they will, they will, I repeat again and again and again, they will have lab results that they can show you. Um, we at CBD Apothecary have lab results that we can show you, we can show you exactly what's in the product, how much is in the product, what's not in the product, okay, and you should demand that when purchasing these type products no matter where you go. Sometimes humans do weird things, um, in the quest to make money, so they will uh, impr they will uh, pressure investors to um, make consumables that um, have things in them that uh, they might not should, just for the gold rush, just for the um, quick uh, money. So please be careful with that. Um, as with anything a person puts in their body, exercise caution. Don't try new substances when alone. Always keep yourself hydrated when you try new products or, or new medication. Even doctors prescribe medic medication. Don't do it alone for the first time until you know how your body's going to react to it. Certainly do not drive a vehicle until you know what your body's going to do. Keep yourself hydrated during that process so that you know you know what's the difference in dehydration and the product. If something's telling you that something is not right, that something is wrong, get medical help ASAP. Get it as quick as you possibly can or get someone to get you to the hospital to an emergency room. And be a hundred percent honest with the medical teams. Don't lie to them. Don't, don't fudge what you've done. You know, if you've eaten a brownie that's loaded with marijuana, tell them that because they need that. They depend on you being honest with them in order to properly treat you and try to save your life if it is a life-threatening uh, product. Um, 
if you have to bring the package. If you ate brownies and, and you have some of them left or you have the package remaining, bring it. They can take the brownies and test them so they know exactly what is in it and exactly how to treat you. Okay? Um, so be safe, guys. Really be safe and know what you're putting in your body, whether it's marijuana, CBD, or prescribed medications by the doctors. Um, we only have one body, one, guys. And as far as I know, you can't trade them in and you can't get newer models. So until we talk next time, may God bless you. Thank you.